Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please be a witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. Some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. As always, just a like button, it's all I'm asking. Or actually, hold on a second, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to learn how to do anything you said without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, I don't sell any courses, never will, I don't have any paid memberships on the channel, so every little thing I do create, I post it completely free on the channel, including the calls and the videos and everything else. Not just any random videos, it's actually questions, requests and issues that people have uh, for, on their Shopify store, I create videos for them. So it's a win-win situation, but it's your decision. I let you decide. I respect your decision. Just a like button. It's all I'm asking. And here I am again, back with another requested video, which is how to hide the add to cart button on some specific product only on your Shopify store. And this is a very good one because many people requested it. And here I am making the video for them. So if you want to hide or remove the add to cart button on a specific product only, not the whole Shopify store, just on one product only, this video will help you out. And we will do that by using our own custom code as always. Without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is Shopify dashboard in here. And they have down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every code I do create or every tutorial I do create, I do demonstration in the video on down team because it's the most used one. Also is the most uh, requested one from people. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify team, the most used ones again, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that? Because I do actually try the codes behind the scenes on all of these teams to make sure that it works for them as well. So I'd make sure that even if you're not using down team, using one of these should work for you just fine. And I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people because it's gonna be like a half hour video to try them on all the teams. And I do mention this to give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team. You might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. And here is your peace of mind. And with that out of the way, let's just get to it, show you how to hide the add to cart button only on some specific product that you want on your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So every little thing that you see in the Shopify store, literally everything on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything on the Shopify store that you liked and you think it looks good, and you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel. Because once it's here on the Shopify store, that means it's already done and posted on the channel. Because I don't remove the changes from here. I keep them so people can see them. But what I'm talking about in this video, let me access this product page. Oh yeah, check it out custom message on top of the buttons or made a, a custom model make a, a query button or order on whatsapp button shaking effect on the buttons as you can see or even a widget that shows a random uh, number of people are watching this product right now and you can customize this number between the between 130 if i reload the page the number will change as you can see so all of this i did it by using not using a single app all by using our own custom code I don't provide the code completely free. But what I'm talking about is this little guy right here. So we will hide this add to cart button only on this product. The other products should have add to cart. So we will do the trick, come back and see it in action. We will keep this page open and get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are in Shopify dashboard, click on online store teams and click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. And it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy because we need to find a specific file. Use the search bar at the top left corner and type in team and you will see team.liquid right here. Click on it, a bunch of code will show up. And again, inside, we need to find a specific section on the code. And to do that, click on the code just like you want to write something and don't, don't write anything. Then click on, if you are Windows, on your keyboard, I mean, click on Control F. I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt at the bottom of the page where we need uh, to find something and this prompt will help us do so. And type in here forward slash head, just like you see, forward slash head and hit enter. Here we go. It did highlight it on the code for us. Let me close this prompt now. So between head and uh, 
between the tag head and script, we need to paste in some code, but there is no space. To create that space, simply click front of script, in my case is script, and hit enter on your keyboard, I mean, here we go. We have a completely new space to paste in our code. And where are you gonna get that code? As always, from the description box. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Simply click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page right here with this very short code as you can see. So simply select the whole code in here, then right click and copy and get back in here and paste it at the bottom. Paste it, sorry, between head and script between the two tags. And if you notice, here, there is a URL. It says Shopify store, product, product name. I think you already figured out what this is, right? So in here, you need to paste in the URL for the product that you want to add to cart to be hidden on. In my case, as I said, I wanna do it on this product. So let me copy the URL, copy the full URL for the product, right click, copy, and we will get back in here and paste it between the quotes and make sure to keep the quotes between URL just like this. Now, if we click on the save button, we wait for a couple of seconds, it's saved, it. we will get back in here, reload the page and see that. No more add to cart as you can see, only buy it now, order on WhatsApp and make, and this is perfect actually, because I already have order on WhatsApp, so yeah, that's better I guess. But as I said, if I access another product, let me access some other product from here. Let me access this one, for example. Oh, add to cart still here, as, as you can see. But if we get back to the product that we did a demonstration on, no more add to cart. So the add to cart only hidden on this product. And that's how you hide add to cart button only on a specific product that you want on your Shopify store. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.